10 interesting facts about dogs that you might not know. Dogs are amazing creatures. They're cute, playful, and they come in all different shapes, colors, and sizes. We all know that they're man's best friend, but here are some interesting facts about dogs that you might not know. Dogs can actually see in color. There was a common misconception that dogs could only see in black and white, but studies suggest that dogs can actually see some colors. Although they cannot see the full range of colors as we do, they do see colors of the world as yellow, blue, and gray. Dogs descended from an ancient wolf species that is now extinct. Genetically, dogs are more wolf than you know. In fact, they're over 99% genetically identical. However, despite sharing a substantial amount of DNA, there are still some significant differences. The primary difference is that dogs are domesticated and they get along with humans a lot better than wolves. Dogs still can form packs. However, unlike wolves, they don't coordinate and hunt in packs. Not only that, but they're able to digest starchy diets, whereas wolves remain carnivorous. Dogs prefer to relieve themselves in alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. An interesting study published in the journal Frontiers in Zoology concluded that under calm magnetic conditions, dogs prefer to relieve themselves with their body being aligned along the north-south axis. The study concluded that dogs had some sort of magnetic sensitivity, but scientists still aren't entirely sure why dogs do this. Every dog's nose print is unique, just like human fingerprints. That's right, this little nose is one of a kind. There's nobody in the world quite like this little fella. Dogs actually have three eyelids. The upper and lower lids are easy to spot, but the third eyelid is a little bit trickier to see since it only appears if there's an issue. This third eyelid serves to protect the dog's eyes by keeping it clean and providing lubrication. Dogs can dream. That's right. Your four-legged friend also dreams. They can dream during the REM stage of sleep, just like us. So you might notice a little twitch or movement in their paws whilst they're asleep. Some dogs sleep in a curled up position so they can stay warm and protect their vital organs whilst they sleep. Ever seen a dog sleep in a curled up position? By curling up, sleeping dogs can protect their vulnerable organs from possible predators. Of course, at home they are safe but they still have the natural instinct to curl up. It also helps them to keep warm or get comfortable. Bloodhounds can follow tracks that are over 300 hours old. It's estimated that their sense of smell is at least 1,000 times stronger than ours. Their sense of smell is so powerful that the police even use them to help find missing people. After sniffing a missing person's clothing article or belonging, a bloodhound can form an odor image. They then use this odor image to follow a scent trail for as far as 200 kilometers. Dogs sweat through their noses. They actually have sweat glands on their noses and between their paw pads, which helps them to regulate their temperature. Panting also prevents overheating. Final fact. Dogs can smell your feelings. Some owners swear that their dogs can smell when they're sad. Well, a study conducted in the Hello there everyone, this is LauraMel79, and I hope you all are ready for your creepy crawlies, heebie-jeebies, because this is 8 random facts about spiders. So firstly, spiders can not only walk on water, they can also breathe under it too. So by spreading their weight equally um, over their 8 legs, they simply don't break the surface tension of the water. Um, and they're also covered in teeny little hairs that when submerged actually trap a layer of oxygen around their body, and uh, so they're able to survive underwater and some can actually live underwater for several hours. So spiders actually eat their own webs to recycle them. When the orb weaver spider, and just so you know, an orb weaver spider is simply a spider that makes a web. So when orb weaver spiders take apart their old webs, they actually eat the silk. Um, the protein from the old silk is never wasted because once the spider's digestive system um, works through and breaks down the silk, the proteins from the silk actually go to the silk glands in the spider to be made into a new web. So even if a spider misses a few males, it can still go on spinning webs. And here's a fun fact to uh, make your skin crawl. 95% of the spiders in your household have never been outside, meaning they were born and raised in your house. Isn't that exciting? 
the chances of you eating even one spider in your sleep throughout your lifetime is close to 0%. This is because when you're sleeping, not only are you breathing, but your heart is thumping, and spiders feel these vibrations from very far away. And spiders read these vibrations as being very bad and dangerous. So even if there should be a spider in your bed when you go to sleep, it would literally do everything it possibly could to get away from you. It wouldn't bite you, it wouldn't try to crawl into your mouth or anything. Um, and then also as a side note, many people will go to bed one night and wake up with bug bites um, and they'll think, oh my gosh, there was a bug in my bed, there was a spider in my bed and it bit me while I was sleeping. This is actually not true, um, or I mean, I suppose it could be, but more often than not, this does not mean that you've had a spider or a bug in your bed while you were sleeping. In fact, most bug bites, including mosquito bites, will not appear until the day after you get them. And while you're sleeping is the perfect time for your body to begin reacting to the bite. And so as a result, when you wake up, the bug bites will have become agitated and they'll begin to itch. And that's when you'll start to notice them. So um, very unlikely that you've actually been bitten while you were sleeping. Spider silk is about five times stronger than steel, and this is pound per pound. Research shows that if you're afraid of spiders, you're more likely to find one in your bedroom. While there's not been any extensive research on this concept, preliminary research has proposed the idea that this is because our attention systems are hardwired to notice threats, such as spiders for some people, uh, for those who have a severe fear of them. Spiders are scared of ants because ants contain formic acid, which is deadly to them. Many female black widow spiders eat the males after mating, uh, very similar to praying mantises. Alright everyone, that is it for this random facts video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and as last week was Thanksgiving, um, I really hope that for all of you out there who celebrate Thanksgiving, um, had a really good one. I love Thanksgiving, you know, because turkey and food is wonderful. But uh, anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I hope you all have a great why, good morning, everyone. How are you all feeling on this fine day on Earth? Well, I hope, because you're about to hear 12 random facts about our cool planet, part two. Numero uno, our galaxy probably contains two billion planets like Earth now. This does not mean two billion other planets that have life. This just means our galaxy probably contains at least two billion planets that, like Earth, have liquid water on their surfaces and orbit around their parent stars. Number two, the farthest distance from Earth an astronaut has ever traveled was actually during the Apollo 13 space emergency. The Apollo 13 astronauts were an astounding 249,205 miles away from Earth as they traveled around the moon. Number three, there are about 22,000 man-made objects orbiting around the Earth. Of the 22,000 countable bits and pieces, only about 5% are estimated to be working payloads or satellites. The rest are just, well, junk. Number four, the point farthest from the center of the Earth is Mount Chimborazo in the Andes. At a measured height of 50,564 feet, Mount Chimborazo is the point on Earth that is closest to space, despite the fact that it is not the tallest mountain. Number five, 20% of Earth's oxygen is produced by the Amazon rainforest. Number six, there are around 500,000 detectable earthquakes each year. Of these 500,000, 100,000 can be felt and 100 cause damage. Number seven, the 2011 earthquake near Japan increased the Earth's rotation speed. As a result, our days are now 1.8 microseconds shorter. Number eight, without the moon, Earth's days would only last six hours. This would mean that there would no longer be 365 days in a year but rather around 1,100 to 1,400. Number nine, the coldest place on Earth is a high ridge in Antarctica where temperatures can drop below negative 133 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my goodness, that is so cold. And lastly, at number 10, only about 0.003% of Earth's water can be used by humans as drinking water. This is because the vast majority of water on Earth's surface, over 96%, is saline water in the oceans, which we obviously cannot drink. We would definitely die. Well, that is all for this Random Facts video. I hope you learned something new about our wonderful planet that you didn't know before. If you did and you'd like to see more videos like this one, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and to check out some other videos from my channel, such as these three right here. Thanks, folks. Stay classy and have a wonderful day.
everyone. This is 15 Random Facts About Science, Part 2. So tomatoes actually have more genes than humans, which seems kind of weird. Potatoes also have more chromosomes than humans. Humans have 46 chromosomes, and potatoes actually have 48 chromosomes, which also happens to be how many chromosomes chimpanzees have. So both chimpanzees and potatoes have more chromosomes than humans. Weird. The Earth's deepest point is at a measured depth of approximately 36,070 feet, or 10,994 meters. And this point is actually known as Challenger Deep. And from the surface of the ocean to Challenger Deep, um, it's the distance equivalent of 24 and a half Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other from tip to tip, which is very deep indeed. The sun is 400 times further away from Earth than the moon is. And just to give you an idea of how far that is, the moon is 238,900 miles away from us, so the sun is like, yeah, the sun is really far away. Neptune was the first planet whose existence was predicted. And when I say that, this actually means that Neptune was the first planet whose existence was predicted solely by scientists' calculations. They hadn't actually seen Neptune in a telescope yet, they just calculated where they thought it should be, and they were actually correct. They looked in the telescope and found um, that Neptune was where they had calculated it. So Neptune was the first planet that they calculated its existence. It takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds for light to travel from the sun to the earth. So if the sun were to suddenly stop providing us light in a way that didn't kill us instantly, that is, we actually wouldn't know about it until 8 minutes and 20 seconds after it had happened because the light would still be traveling to us, which is really weird because, like, what if the sun just died, like, 2 minutes ago and in 6 minutes and 20 seconds we're going to realize that the sun died? Isn't that just weird that we wouldn't know about it until 8 minutes after it happened? Freaky! If you were to put Saturn, the entire planet of Saturn, in a gigantic tub of water, it would actually float. And this is because Saturn is mostly composed of gas, and gas is less dense than water. So the whole planet would float because water is more dense than Saturn, which is kind of cool. If only we could do that. Sound waves can and have been used to make different objects levitate. And this is done using two or more different sound waves. And these different sound waves actually combine to create one big new giant sound wave. And as this new wave oscillates and moves and shifts, there are points where there are no movement in the different sound waves. And it's at these points that objects get sort of caught up in them and then they're able to float or levitate. Scientists have figured out how to quote-unquote unboil an egg, and they're able to do this because when you boil an egg, the proteins unfold and refold into a more disordered form, and bam, you have a boiled egg. But scientists have actually figured out how to pull apart these proteins and then refold them back into their original shape, thus quote-unquote unboiling the egg. Viruses can get viruses. That's weird. There are about 173,000 different venomous species in the world, and uh, these species range from lizards to spiders to fish, so all sorts of different species. It takes Pluto 24.8 years, and this is our years, obviously, 24.8 years to orbit the sun. And a day on Pluto is uh, 6.4 Earth days, um, or a day on Pluto is 153.3 hours long. So, very long, long days, very long days. Scientists have actually mapped a worm's mind, and they've replicated this map into the software that is now inside a Lego robot. So, a Lego robot's mind is a worm's mind. Cool. Before he was Bill Nye the Science Guy, Bill Nye was a stand-up comedian, which I believe I can see that. That's cool. When you donate your body to science, it can actually have um, multiple different uses. It may be used as a crash course dummy. That's pretty cool. If I donate my body to science, I want to be a crash course dummy. Um, it can be used for medical training, forensic research, um, or your organs may be donated to people who need it, and you can save lives. So that's pretty cool. 
<laughs> all right, everyone, that is it for this random facts video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I also hope that you all enjoyed the new format. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, I think it's been updated quite a bit. I personally like it more, but I would just like some feedback on thoughts about the new format. And uh, yeah, there will be more videos uploaded next week. And uh, like and subscribe and share. दोस्तों आपको पता है वर्ल्ड की चार सबसे महंगे चीजें कौन सी है क्या आप जानते हैं दुनिया का सबसे महंगा आशियाना किसका है और कितने का है इसका नाम एंटेलिया है जे एशिया के सबसे अमीर आदमी मुकेश अंबानी का घर है इस घर की कीमत करीब दो बिलियन डॉलर है इसमें एक सौ अड़सठ कार पार्किंग स्पॉट भी है तीन होली पैड भी है इस घर में नाइन हाई स्पीड के एलिवेटर्स और एक सिनेमा थिएटर जिसमें पचास सीट है और बेशुमार कीमती चीज है जो कि हम सोच भी नहीं सकते क्या आपको पता है दुनिया की सबसे महंगी पेंटिंग कौन सी है और इसको किसने खरीदा 2017 में सऊदी प्रिंस बदर बिन अब्दुल्ला बिन मोहम्मद बिन फरहान अल सऊद ने क्रिस्टी की नीलामी में 450.3 मिलियन अमेरिकी डॉलर में सेल्वेटर मुंडी सेवियर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड खरीदा इसने सार्वजनिक नीलामी में बेची गई अब तक की सबसे महंगी पेंटिंग का रिकॉर्ड बनाया है दोस्तों क्या आपको पता है दुनिया की सबसे महंगी कार कौन सी है आप सोच रहे हो गए बुगाटी और रोल्स रॉस पैंटो जी नहीं दोस्तों इस कार का नाम फरारी 250 सौ जीटीओ है इसका चैसेस नंबर चार हजार एक सौ तिरपन जी है और इस कार की कीमत 70 मिलियन डॉलर है इस कार को उन्नीस और उन्नीस मेन बनाया गया इस कार ने बहुत सारी रेसिंग जीती है और स्टाइन की जे कार वर्ल्ड की फास्टेस्ट कार है दोस्तों आपको पता है दुनिया की सबसे महंगी घड़ी कौन सी है नहीं पता तो हम बताएंगे जी हाँ दोस्तों इस घड़ी का नाम ग्राफ डायमंड्स हेल्यूसिनेशन है और इसकी कीमत सुनकर आप शौक हो जाओगी जी हाँ दोस्तों इस घड़ी की कीमत 55 मिलियन डॉलर की है और ये घड़ी 110 सौ कैरेट्स और मल्टी कलर डायमंड्स की है जी दोस्तों और आप नीचे कमेंट में बताए आप अपने हाथों में कितनी महंगी घड़ी पहनते हो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड कमेंट जरूर करें
Apples give you more energy than coffee. If you're ever a little low on energy during the afternoon, then consider munching into an apple instead of buying a cup of coffee. Thanks to its high carbohydrate, fiber, vitamin C, and mineral content, eating apples are the perfect and healthy option to help you stay energized all day. Pistachios are a rich source of protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals, which can help people with weight management, protect against diabetes and hypertension and improve digestion. The omega-3 fatty acids present in pistachios can help lower your blood pressure and may also reduce your risk of heart disease. Broccoli contains more protein than steak. There is more protein in broccoli than steak. And it doesn't come with all those saturated and trans fats or cholesterol, so you can get all the protein you need with a significantly lower risk of cardiovascular disease with this healthy food. In Spain and Mexico, avocados are called alligator pears due to their shape and bumpy green skin, while in India and China, they are referred to as butter pears. This healthy food is good for you too. They're a great source of vitamin C, E, K, and B6. Americans eat approximately 20 million hot dogs a year, especially during baseball games. About 18.5 million hot dogs were consumed during the 2015 Major League Baseball season. Is sucralose safe? So what's the verdict on sucralose? It's complicated. It's true that research has raised some concerns. Yet scientists haven't found any direct negative health effects in people who consume sucralose long term. That's true both for healthy people and those with diabetes. While sucralose may cause problems at higher doses, most people consume nowhere near that amount. If you enjoy sucralose occasionally and in moderation, it isn't likely to have a major effect on your health. Is sucralose healthy? Since its introduction around 20 years ago, millions of people have turned to Splenda as a way to enjoy some of their favorite sweets with fewer calories. By making a simple swap of sucralose for sugar, it can help you limit calorie intake. This can be especially helpful for people with diabetes who need to monitor their sugar intake. Splenda sweetens foods and drinks but doesn't make your blood sugar levels to spike the way that regular sugar does. What is sucralose? Sucralose is marketed as Splenda, an artificial sweetener that often comes in a yellow packet. The difference between Splenda and other sweeteners, like aspartame equal and saccharin sweet and low, is that it's actually made from real sugar. This gives it a taste that is generally more preferable compared to other artificial sweeteners. Sucralose is chemically changed so that it's 600 times sweeter than real sugar with almost no calories. It doesn't leave an aftertaste in your mouth, so sucralose is used in foods like yogurt, candy, ice cream, and soda. In addition to being changed for taste, sucralose is also altered so that most of it passes through your body instead of being stored to later use as energy. To make sucralose almost calorie-free, some naturally occurring parts of the sugar molecule, called hydroxyl, are swapped out for chlorine. Hello friends and welcome to my channel and in this video I will tell you top 5 random facts. So let's begin. Fact number 5. An octopus will eat its own arm if it gets really hungry and say an octopus really eats its arm. Number 4. An astronaut gets taller in his face and say there is no, there is no gravity you see in space. Number 3 The adult human heart weighs about 283 grams. Fact number 2 The first ice cream cone was invented in 1896. Moving on to fact number 1 each minute, 250 babies are born and each second, 4.3 babies are born. So that is it for today. See you in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
inventions that were invented by accident. Part 4. The inventor of Botox was working on a treatment for crossed eyes. But after the treatment, everyone's skin looked really good. Silly Putty was originally marketed as a wallpaper cleaner. But think about how ridiculously hard it would be to clean an entire room with Silly Putty. The product was a massive failure until one man picked it up and said, Hey! This stuff's pretty silly. Saccharin, the first artificial sweetener, was invented by a man who literally just forgot to wash his hands after an experiment before eating a sandwich. In any other lab in the world, he'd probably be dead. But luckily for him, he was just like, wow, these chemicals taste really sweet. I'm gonna eat more. Completely useless facts that you don't need to know, part eight. Facts number one, humans are the only animals that actually enjoy eating spicy food. Fact number two, Minnesota has more shorelines than California, Florida, and Hawaii combined. Fact number three, every odd number has the letter E in it. Fact number four, newborn babies don't shed tears because it takes at least two weeks for your tear ducts to form. Fact number five, there are over 7,500 different kinds of apples, but only 100 are sold commercially in the U.S. And some of these colors get crazy, like yellow and pink apples. Facts number six, Betty White, who was born in 1922, is older than microwaves, trampolines, and sliced bread. They just hadn't been invented yet. Fact number seven, dogs can actually smell certain strands of cancer, and with proper training, they can alert their owners. And finally, fact number eight, the entire study of psychology is literally just the brain trying to figure itself out. Think about it. Interesting facts about India. India has the second biggest population on Earth. The game chess started in India. India produces the most movies in the world. Yoga originated in India. India is the seventh biggest country on earth. Ever wonder what the heck we're actually looking in your ear for with these things? Daily Dr. Vex. This is an otoscope. We use it to look in your ear. We take these little tips, put it on the otoscope like this. We place this in your ear and peer through that tiny hole. This is what we theoretically want to see inside. This here is your tympanic membrane, and around it is the external auditory meatus, otherwise known as the external ear canal. Now, this tympanic membrane absorbs sound waves and transfers it to your hearing centers. But people can get holes in this, scarring, things that affect their hearing. They can also get ear infections, which can make your eardrum look really red, bulge out, and kind of you can see some stuff behind it rather than that nice clear we had in the last picture. So these are super helpful to check for certain types of hearing problems, wax, and infections. Take a look at the tiger's tooth. A tiger's tooth is much more of a sharpened peg. You see it's very thick at the base and it slowly comes down to a point, but it stays very thick almost all the way up to the tip. They're not very sharp. It does have a serrated edge running down the back. If you can see that, it's actually bladed down the back there. So it'll cut through anything that goes behind the teeth. Kind of like a knife. Okay, so I hope I'm not like the only human on the planet to not know this. But a while back, my dad came over and was watching me do laundry. And if you use this kind of soap that dispenses down into this little cup, you know, it's really convenient. But it sucks when you pour it out because all the stuff gets stuck on the inside. My dad, my dad said to me, you know, you can just throw the whole cup in there. I'm like, what do you mean? I always pour it all in there. And he's like, no, just throw the whole cup. Did you know that by age 40 and beyond, it gets increasingly difficult to read up close? It's called presbyopia. And most patients use reading glasses to help. Things that are important in a relationship. Number one, music taste, okay? I'ma just be real with y'all. If you like country music, this probably won't last very long. Because if we get in the car and I decide to play a song like Earthquake, which is extremely well known, and I'm in the car vibing like, is you make my earthquake? And you sitting over there like this. I know right from there that this will not last. Number two, okay, we need to have a sense of humor that's somewhat compatible. Because I play way too much and I am way too sarcastic for you to be getting sensitive when I tell you to shut up. Because I know that I'm playing, but if we don't have the same sense of humor and understanding, then you're gonna get offended. Number three, okay, I'm sorry this one is for the girls, but I need y'all to be decisive. It's not that I can't make the decisions, it's just I want you to be clear with what it is that you want. If you need emotional support, Tell me. If you want food, tell me. Don't just take my food because you hungry and didn't want to tell me you want food. Communicate with me. Thank you for your time. Let me just start this video off by saying dreams piss me off. First of all, why is it that all of the bad dreams last eight hours and all of the good ones get interrupted? 
Because I can be having my worst nightmare and I have to go through that torture for eight hours straight. And as soon as you have a good dream, that's when somebody has to wake you up. I don't know about y'all, but I cannot recall one time ever being woken up while I was having a bad dream. And it can never even be like an average dream. No, it has to be the dream where you are with your soulmate, doing things you like to do, and then your parents come in the room in the morning and say, hey, it's time for school. And it sucks because you go through that moment of maybe if I go back to sleep, I could dream about it again. And you know it ain't gonna happen. And another thing, why are my dreams better than my life right now? And it's like torture because how can you put me in a set of circumstances that is so perfect and then you wake me up to deal with this again? And I hate how believable they are because I can fall asleep in class for four seconds and somehow believe I'm falling to my death from a skyscraper. And then you wake up startled as hell thinking you were really-